Bringing it back to the topic at hand, the reason why I'm here, um, with the tennis time strategy, last time we spoke, um, you said something that resonated very well with me that I've actually used in presentations before. Mm -hmm. The fact that you've got to have one core that looks like one chip, that looks like one system. Has anything changed? No. But, well, I, I thought about this a lot. So if, if when the world of computing started, you just naturally had a thousand processors, mm. all the software development would have been, how do I coordinate across a thousand processors? But from like, you know, 1950 something to, I don't know what, 2005, most people programmed on one computer, right? So the computer was a single thing. Mm that literally executed instructions at the PC. And for most of that time, they were doing one instruction at a time. So, now the GPU guys, by the time it was programmable, they had a thousand threads, so they were starting to think about it, but their mindset in the programming model was still a single thread execution replicated lots of times. Like a GPU. Yeah, so, so we call that a, a vector of scale yeah. of programs, and, uh, which, is a, which is a curious thing. But now the, you want to write one program that goes and engages thousands of processors. And to be honest, you're willing to uh, tolerate some serious inefficiency to make that happen. Right? Yeah. And somebody's saying, like, like, like using ChatGP to write stuff, like it does wild things like produce paragraphs that are novel, but it also figures out where to put the punctuation. Now, the punctuation could be done with a simple C program. You know, there's two spaces, you know, at the end of some number of words, put, put a period or a comma. Yeah. Like, it's not rocket science. And you think, using ChatGPT to do something a C program can do, that's literally like petaflops of compute for a second yeah. to put a comma, right? As opposed to 100 lines of C program.